Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy and I wanted to do a first impressions video on Ashford University. First, let me start off by saying that these are my views and my experiences. And I'll start off with uh, my experience in seeing a close friend of mine attend Ashford University. One of the things that I remember is that he was always writing a paper. Always, always, always writing a paper. He was always in school and I was like, oh my gosh, do you get a break? And no, he did not get a break, but it was good because he was able to complete his program within a year and a half or less. I believe that the undergraduate uh, programs, you do five weeks per class and graduate is six. He was in graduate, so he did six weeks. He had all positive things to say. He is the type of person that if something was wrong, he would definitely say something and I trust him. So um, I felt comfortable in making that decision. We went to um, his graduation when he graduated with a Master of Arts in Organizational Leadership or Organizational Management, I can't remember, in San Diego. It was a pretty huge commencement ceremony. It was beautiful. Um, I wanna say that one of the alumni came back and spoke at his particular commencement ceremony. So based off of that, I knew that Ashford University was or is a quality institution or educational institution. I was able to see that when I went through the admissions process. So I just recently graduated with uh, my MBA from another university and I wanted to attend or get a second degree in an HR related field. And when I looked at the tuition assistance program that my employer has, I saw that Ashford University has a full scholarship grant. And basically the way that it works is I am allotted like $5,250 every year for school. Ashford University would use that and then take care of all of the remaining tuition, books, and anything necessary for me to attend school. So ideally, I'd be going to school for free, which I couldn't pass that up because if I went to another school, um, I would be using the 5250 in addition to student loans. Well, I don't need to take student loans unless there's something else that I want to do, which um, I may take certifications or something else that will help benefit me that is worth the investment. The admissions process was very quick. In fact, I want to say after I submitted my interest letter or interest survey or the application, I got a call within 15 minutes. Shout out to Max. Max was pretty cool. Um, I want to say he was my enrollment advisor. Super knowledgeable. Um, he himself went to Ashford University, which was a big plus for me. I'm a big fan of if you work for a company that has a product or service that you can use, if you're not using it, then that suggests to me that mm, something in the milk may not be clean. But the fact that he graduated with a graduate degree from Ashford University was good. Super friendly, super knowledgeable. The process only took as long as it did as far as me submitting my um, transcripts and other things that I had to submit, like papers and signing and reading and all that kind of stuff, which is a lot because of the of when I wanted to sign up. So I wanted to give myself a break in between my degree that I just completed and the degree that I'm going to start, which is a master of human resources, uh, human resource management. And um, I'm pretty sure that if I said that I wanted to start immediately, that everything would have went super fast. It is a lot of reading, um, but it's not overwhelming. And I imagine that it's a lot of reading because it's school, right? You have to kind of go through that. So Ashford University is accredited. I can't remember through which accrediting body, but it is regionally accredited. And the program that I chose, uh, the Master of Human Resource Management, is has the stamp of approval from Shurem, which is an HR, um, how can I say it? It's like the golden standard for HR professionals. So the fact that Ashford University was regionally accredited and the specific program that I'm going for, it received a stamp of approval from the gold standard of HR, why wouldn't I do it? Especially if 
the uh, program is going to be free based off of tuition assistance from my employer and the grant. I know that it is a for-profit school, but based on my experience with my close friend, the enrollment, my research, seeing that it's accredited, has the stamp of approval from the gold standard specific to the program that I'm going for, I don't feel like there would be anything that would make me not want to do it or I didn't receive any bad vibes. In fact, I love the layout because I'm actually about to start week one, so I kind of jumped in to kind of play around with everything. There are so many resources, so many um, videos, so many tutorials, so many different things that will help you be successful. In fact, the student login in comparison to the other school that I went to is so much easier. Like you log in and everything is right there where you need it to be. The videos that are available are super helpful, very clear. You can understand them. There are a lot of videos that you who will probably watch, but it's well worth it because it will help set you up for success. I am very thankful that whoever Ashford University partnered with to set up their student login, I'm very thankful for them because you don't have to log into many portals. Everything is right there. Your books are right there. There's an audible book for my first class, which is super helpful because I don't have to sit down and read. I can kind of do things and listen to it and then pick up on key things and go back and highlight it in the PDF version, which I love. Um, it's just a great experience so far. The professors, if I'm not mistaken, all have their PhDs, which was super beneficial. I know for certain that my current professor does and I'm doing BUS 600. I'm super uh, excited. Uh, first impressions are all good. There was an announcement that was made that Ashford University was being acquired by, I believe, the University of Arizona to create like a global campus that would be affiliated with the University of Arizona, but not necessarily the University of Arizona. It'll be kind of like its own standing institution, which will transition it into a not-for-profit college, which when I saw that, I, I didn't, I understand it. I mean, it's business, uh, but I didn't really see how it would harm my experience. Ashford University, based on my experience so far, really puts the student experience first. And I don't see Ashford University making a move like that, just based off of, again, my experience and seeing my friend, um, my enrollment and all that kind of good stuff. I don't see Ashford University making a move like that to hinder and or harm its reputation. It would be strategic and to its advantage to go into an institution like the university or affiliate or align with uh, an institution such as the University of Arizona, um, all beneficial, all right? I see that as a, a plus for me, and I'm excited. The process, or not the process, the program is about 39 credits, which when I looked at my student profile said that it should take until March 2021, which is not that bad. I mean, literally, when, you, when you're in school, things happen so quick. It seems like yesterday I was just starting my first class for my MBA and um, I'm done. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna do another video to kind of give you an update, maybe about in a week or so. Um, some other things that I wanna call out from looking at the class, I cannot express this enough, especially having been getting a graduate and an undergraduate degree online and an Associate of Arts online for the past few years. The layout is a lot to take in at first, but it's done in a way that it's, it won't be overwhelming the more that you use it. So I cannot say thank you enough to the person who laid it out. You can see your GPA, your estimated time of your uh, completion for your program, you can see your next classes, you can see your financial aid, you can see um, tutoring services, writing services, the library, all of that stuff is like right there. And it, it really is helpful. I, I can't say that enough. 
Would I recommend it to a family or a friend based on my experience so far and seeing a close friend, close friend go through uh, Ashford University? Absolutely, I would recommend it. I actually started looking at their PhD programs, which I'm probably gonna do the PsyD, um, specific to industrial organizational psychology. And, um, but that's a totally different video. But yeah, uh, so far so good, no complaints. Uh, and uh, I hope that this helps you. It's been a great experience so far and I don't anticipate it changing. I'm a very intuitive person and uh, yeah, I'm happy so far. Hope that this helps you. Have a great one.